my meeting with you, so thank you all very much for being so sweet to me today. And before I do, I'd like to go back and introduce somebody that I tried to, I introduced already by accident, so. And now I'm gonna introduce you to marriage equality. And speaking on behalf of marriage equality, Arminia, she's wonderful, she's partnered, get over it. And Andy, who is desperately looking for a fella. So if you like the look of Andrew in any way, obviously he's ginger, but I think we can all get past that now. We're, we're, we're a community. Can we all get past that? And I think, I think maybe somebody out there is the right person for Andrew. So if you think you might be the right person for Andrew, please sign into Twitter and use the hashtag, I'll take pity on him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, marriage equality. Thank you. So that's less than a year away. This means that a massive hurdle and milestone will be behind us for the LGBT community. As Max from Noy said, there are other things for us to do, but between now and next year, it's marriage equality. So do you want marriage equality and are you prepared to put your money where your mouth is and your mouth where your mouth is? Because we need you to do some things for us. Imagine an Ireland where marriage equality is in place. Imagine what it will mean for LGBT young people, for the people who were on before us, 
for belong to when they're straight friends who have boyfriends and girlfriends and they can think one day I'll get married to my boyfriend or girlfriend that they can think we'll all be able to do the same because at the moment they can't so they have different aspirations they have less aspirations than their friends so let's make history and we can do it together but as Meninia said, there's a massive job to do. And aside from voting and registering to vote, there's a few things we need you to do between now and next year. And the most important thing is talk. Have conversations. And don't just do it on Facebook and Twitter. Have conversations at home with your friends and your family. Talk to your parents who might be a bit older and might really be with the issue. And don't ram it down their throat, but you know, see if they have any questions that you can help them with because that's going to make the difference to us. Marriage Equality is here for you, so if you have any questions, log on to our website, marriageequality.ie. All the information is up there. On the other hand, if you want to call, we're always at the end of the line. And if talking to family and friends is an easy thing for you to do, what we're going to need from about next February or March is canvassers. We're going to need to take it to the streets. We're going to need to take it to housing estates and NACE and all kinds of places outside Dublin where there aren't big LGBT communities because unless we do that, the referendum won't pass. So please do take our advice today. Get to the streets, register to vote and vote on the day. So let's start having meaningful conversations and let's win this marriage equality referendum and change history forever. Thank you very much. Happy Pride!